So okay guys, today I'm going to be talking about a Linux based program called Screen. Screen essentially is a window management program. Now for those of you wondering, how exactly does that work when you're within a terminal and why would you want to use it? Well Screen has multiple different functions, you can easily check that out by typing in man and then space and then screen to open up the manual. However, we're basically going to go over the basic features of the program and what you mostly will probably use when running this program. Anyway, screen is good if you have, let's say, a torrent downloader and you want to minimize it and keep it running in the background, or even have it run while your SSH terminal is closed. Now for those of you that don't know, a lot of programs such as downloaders and various other things will only run while the SSH session is opened, right? Well, if you run it through screen, you can keep the process running and minimize it even and continue working on something else while that program is running in the background. So overall, to use this program, it comes pre-installed on a lot of Linux-based distros, but if you're like me and you got a base installation of Kali, to install this program, it's as simple as typing in app-get install screen. Now to verify whether you actually got this program installed or not, you can just type man screen afterwards and that will open up basically the manual for the program itself. Now if we were to take a look quickly at the manual here, which I suggest you guys all to do once you download the program, you can see there's a lot of different um, functions and things that we could take advantage of while using this, but I'm only going to be going over three of the different modes that this program has to offer. Now with that said, how would exactly would you go about running or using this program? Well, it's super simple. Let's say I just type screen in and then top. Top is essentially the task manager, but for Linux. So I'm going to hit enter on that. As you can see, this program is running. What if we want to leave it run in the background? Well, that would be as simple as just closing out of the SSH session and logging back in. And this program here will still be running. Or an even better solution would be to hit the hotkey, Control alt a Control alt a and then hit D. That will detach the window from the terminal, and I can continue working on something else, or just um, leave and walk away and leave the program run. Anyway, let's say we're done. We had our fun in the terminal here. How would we go about reloading the last program that we had typed in or ran through screen? Well, to do that, it's super easy. All I gotta do is type screen, tag D, tag R, and then hit enter on that, and that will load us back into the last program that we ran and minimized with screen. Anyway, I'm gonna just quickly uh, leave this run by hitting Control alt a again to minimize it, and then D. And we're gonna open up another screen here, because I wanna show you what happens when you have more than one screen running at once, which I believe a lot of you guys may want to do. So okay, I'm going to launch this simple um, script file I have here through screen, and it, now that's running, and I'm going to minimize that as well, just by doing the same command, control, alt, a, and then d, and uh, as you can see, if I type in screen, tac, d, tac, r, it will give me a list of currently running windows. As you can see, these are currently detached, meaning we can't see them, and to bring them back up, it's as simple as typing in screen tag d tag r and then this number right in front of it. Now since this is the first one I launched, this would be our uh, task manager so to say, so let's open that up. So you just do that by typing in the number and then hitting enter. As you can see, it opened right back where we left off and it is still running. I know it looked like it froze there, but that's really just because I went in the copy paste mode but it still runs. Anyway, before I leave this video off, I want to show another way of viewing the screen list, and that's essentially just by typing in screen tag list. That will show you what you have opened up if screen tag d tag r does not show you what is currently running. And uh, let's say we wanted to close out of this process now, 3687. It's as simple as going up here typing in that process number and then hitting control C to just close out of it like you normally would. Anyway, that's basically it for screen. That's the basics of this program, how you would use it, and I gave you some examples for why you would want to use this as well. But before I actually go, I want to say what I primarily use this program for overall. I use it for Pi FM RDS. Well, for those of you that don't know, you can transmit FM with a Raspberry Pi, but if you close out of the SSH session or your screen rotates on your phone, 
it kills the transmission, but with screen, if we pipe that command through screen itself, you can minimize the app and then close out of your SSH session, leaving your MP3 transmission playing, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, that's basically all you need to know when it comes to the screen, and I really hope this video helped you out, but for now, I'm going to leave it off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. T for data file, and in this case, the data file is a text file, and it, yes, before you, and it will actually tell you where it was pushed over here to button 4. Now this program does also...